Think about all of the things you might be doing right now if you weren't taking this course. Instead of watching this video, perhaps you might choose to read a book or watch a movie. Or maybe you'd buy a new television set or take a vacation with the money you wouldn't be spending on tuition. In our world today, resources such as time and electronics are limited. So doing one thing means not being able to do something else. Economists call this the opportunity cost of a good or service. Every decision you make about how to spend your time or money comes with an opportunity cost because there is always something else you could have done instead. These choices exist because we live in a world of scarcity. We have unlimited desires, but limited resources. The presence of scarcity is the main driver in the field of economics. Economics is the study of choices people make when faced with scarcity. Can you think of a situation where the lack of infinite goods forced someone to make a choice? What other choices were given up as a result of that decision? Now think about what the world would be like if it were possible to solve the problem of scarcity altogether, so that limited resources were no longer a problem. What would life be like with unlimited food, clothing, shelter, or even unlimited time? This hypothetical scenario is sometimes depicted in utopian literature and science fiction. For example, in the television show, Star Trek The Next Generation, economic scarcity is no longer an issue. That's because, in the future, they have things like replicators that provide unlimited food, clothing, tools, or any other material goods on demand. It's kind of like being able to ask Siri for a bacon cheeseburger. Of course, in Star Trek The Next Generation, this means they have plenty of time for leisure activities like playing lots and lots of classical music on the Enterprise. Also, people are free to pursue the interests and careers that give them the most satisfaction without any concern for money or material goods. While the utopian vision of the future depicted in Star Trek may not be realistic from an economic standpoint, here in the real world, improving the quality of life for people often means reducing the level of scarcity and increasing access to essentials like clean drinking water, nutritious food, and even educational opportunities. Whether you believe that a world free of scarcity, such as the world seen in the Star Trek universe, is possible to achieve, where do you see scarcity in your own life and in the world around you? Which types of scarcity are most essential and which seem more solvable? Most importantly, what ways can you think of to address the problem of scarcity, to make the world a better place for everybody?